So this tomato girl, strawberry girl trend on social media has been popping off lately. It's the funny thing about trends. Trends are trends, but it doesn't mean it's new. For any of you that have been here for a while, you know I love the flushed, blushed cheeks. The cutesy, rosy nose. So I did that today and I basically took it up a notch by adding more blush than usual, as well as a new hair routine that I've never done before, using my leave-in, of course, from the Ramos Clean Curls collection that I collaborated in making with Derma E. I used it in a completely new way. This is like a first impressions of a routine that I've never done before. And it's a routine that's popular amongst people with wavy hair that I never actually expected to like in my hair because my hair is very curly. It's 3B texture and it's more on the dry side. But to my surprise, this no gel routine, I loved it. And this is inspired by a follower of mine, Brittany Hope on Instagram, who did a video using my entire line and she used it in her own unique way. And I got inspired to try it in this video today. So here we go. Let me show you how I did it. So these shiny gel patches you see under my eyes, these are the Derma E Vitamin C Bright Eyes Hydro Gel Patches. I haven't used these in a while, so I pop these in as I begin putting on my leave-in. Let's do this hair. I washed my hair with my shampoo and conditioner. I didn't use the deep treatment today, just the shampoo and conditioner, very standard. I'm gonna add some water first because my hair was in my satin towel for a little bit. So I'm not gonna drench it wet, but I do want it to be wet. I'm gonna be using my two-in-one defining curl cream leave-in as my only leave-in and styler in this routine. So on wet hair, I'm just gonna start with applying my leave-in and I'm gonna part my hair in half as usual to make sure that I get everything coated properly. I'm gonna apply more leave-in. And since this is my only styler, I really wanna make sure that everything is nicely coated and moisturized, especially with this method with no gel. I'm gonna use my Tangle Teaser brush to make sure that everything is distributed nicely and get those nice curl definition. Now for the top section, super simple, let's do it again. I'm gonna add some more water because I will be plopping a little bit more. At this point, I'm gonna take my satin covered hair towel. I love this hair towel. I'm gonna put this on my head and let it soak for a little bit and then we're gonna diffuse after applying oil. Woo. All right, we're gonna take some of this time for the skin. I'm gonna remove the eye patches. That is beautiful. For some extra radiance, I'm using some Radiant Glow Oil. This is the first product that I ever collaborated with, Derma E. It's still available on the Derma E website and on Amazon. For those who don't know, this is not only a face oil, but it's also a multi-purpose oil that you can use in your hair, your skin, or your body, or mix it in with any other products of your liking, anything that you would mix oil with. It's just a beautiful, natural oil that I am still very proud of. I'm also gonna use the Derma E Scar Cream Sun Protectant. Look at this, it's like, I have another backup, but it's very used up. This not only reduces the scar appearances because it has that scar cream formula, it also primes and mattifies my skin. So it's perfect after applying that oil because it balances the radiance and the matte together. And I really like that. While also protecting my skin with SPF 35. And the bonus is that it's great for people of color. It does not leave any white residue, any white cast. It's a mineral sunscreen that won't make you look like a ghost. All right, let's take the towel off. It's been in for a few minutes. Okay, I'm gonna apply some of my hair story hair oil, which is also going to add some protection to my hair since we're using diffuser with some heat. And I'm basically gonna rake that into the ends. Let's diffuse. I'm gonna be going back and forth with low and medium heat until everything is completely dry. Wow. Seriously, who knew? Who knew? that I would like this routine. So I'm so glad that I gave it a shot because this is actually really simple, easy, and it looks good. Now it's time for a makeup quickie. Flushed cheeks, that strawberry tomato girl trend that's going on right now. Even though I've been doing that for a very long time already, I don't know why it's a big trend right now, but it is, so we're going to do it. I'm gonna be using my Kosas concealer. 
This is one of my favorite concealers. I'm in the number 7.5 and I like to apply it a little bit under my eyes, sides of my nose, over here by my mouth. Instead of using foundation, I just like to spot correct so that my whole face isn't like covered in foundation and we still keep this very natural. I realized I wasn't recording when I said blend that in and then I just started blending and didn't press record. With my Westman Atelier contour, I'm gonna apply some on my nose, on my cheekbones, and on my jawline. Solo un poquito, un poquito. To blend the contour, I'm using my Ilia Tapered, it's like a foundation brush, and I use that to blend my cheekbones and my jawline. And I really like using this Tapered Fit Glow Beauty brush. I think this is like a dual concealer type of brush, but it has that tapered tip, and I like using that to blend in my cream contours on my nose. Now for some powder, I am using the LYS Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder. This is in the color Brilliance, which is like a banana shade. And I love using this under my eyes and on my forehead to prevent some of that shine. A little bit on my chin as well, where I might get shiny. I don't know if I should do my eyebrows or not. I'm just gonna fill it in just a little bit, but nothing crazy because my eyebrows are pretty good. And sometimes I just like to keep them very natural like that. But just to even it out a little bit, I'm gonna take my Beauty Counter Brow Pencil. This product has been discontinued. I still have my old one. So I'm gonna use it. I'm just gonna um, shade in a little bit towards the bottom of my brow where the unevenness is most visible and nothing too precise. I'm just gonna darken that up and lengthen it a little bit. I'm not gonna apply anything up here. I'm just gonna literally line a little bit down here just to level it out in the bottom, which is a quick and simple way to make it look neater. With the end of the brush, I'm just going to mostly brush towards the front Blend it out a little bit and lightly at the end. All righty then. All right, this is the Ilia Multi Stick. This is in the color Dreamer. And then I have my Tata Harper Volumizing Leap, Leap, Lip and Cheek Tint. It's a red shade like that. I've had this for years. I have like three of these jars. I don't think they make this color anymore but they make a similar one, like a berry looking one that you can use. This is red. You can use any other red or you can use the RMS Lip and Cheek Cream Tints as well. They have every single color imaginable. RMS is another clean brand. But first I'm gonna use Ilia Dreamer to give me that like peachy glow to start with. And basically you apply it a little bit high so that it can get that tomato girl. The sun just kind of sun kissed my skin type of look like I burned a little bit but in a cute way, not in an unhealthy way, and just blend it out. And I'm gonna blend it with the Ilia, it's like a little tiny kabuki brush. Now for the red bloodshot flushed. And I'm also gonna apply that a little bit on the center of my lips. It also gives that cute flush, and now we blend. Okay, I think this is the most blush I've ever worn. Now I'm taking my Ilia Starstruck Daylight Highlighting Powder. This is one of my longtime favorites. It's basically like a champagne, golden, luminous highlight. It's perfect. And that champagne is gonna match really well with the flushed, reddish, peachy-ness going on on my face. And lastly, I'm gonna apply some mascara. This is the Honest Beauty Mascara. So this is basically it. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking. And thank you for supporting my Ramos Clean Curls collection. The response has been amazing. And if you do any videos on Instagram and stuff, tag me because I am always sharing you guys' videos like this one, which was inspired by a follower of mine and also not just a follower, but somebody that I recognize immediately and connected with for quite a few years now. I hate when people do like long thank yous and goodbyes and I end up being one of those people. Every single time. So let me just stop and say bye sunshines. I love you all.